Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Generation Selects Voyager Class G2 Megatron. This figure here was a Christmas gift to me by longtime subscriber Shane High. Shane, thank you so much. I absolutely love this figure. Yes, I've taken him out of the box. Quick look at the packaging. It's Generation Selects packaging. It's cardboard box with a spray painted Autobot logo, Transformers Generation Selects. And right there, that's how you know it's Megatron. Boxes, really nothing much to write home about. Now, the G2 Megatron from Generation Selects is a Generation 2 inspired Megatron using the Earthrise Megatron mold. And actually, they pulled it off really, really good. I also got this little adapter to go with the figure to really enhance the G2-ishness of the figure to give the Megatron, the G2 Megatron, this cannon here up on the shoulder that the original was known for. And it really improves the figure. But enough of me talking about it and not showing you anything. Let's get to the figure itself. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get G2 Megatron all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions we've been getting lately, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with his fusion cannon, this shield slash tank engine cover, and his spear cannon thing. Of course, in robot mode, you take the shield and let's see, you attach that right here. So you've got this going on so you can peg that onto his arm like so and then of course the fusion cannon goes right there and there you have megatron all armed and ready for battle and here is g2 megatron compared to earthrise as i said earlier the same exact mold only a different color scheme and just look at that collar i love the g2 look and for some odd reason, I'm really finding the look of this Megatron so much better than this one. It may be because the Siege Megatrons really spoiled me because those were fantastic Megatrons. Taking a closer look, I mean, everything's different. The head sculpt is painted different. I love the eyes. The eyes just pop on the G2 compared to Earthrise. Man. I love that. I just, I can't really explain it. I'm a G1 diehard Megatron fan since the beginning, but the collars on this guy absolutely pop. Now, the one big issue with this G2 Megatron figure is the G2 Megatron toy from the early 90s had the cannon here on the shoulder. Now, unfortunately, you just can't do it with this Megatron. There's no peg up here on the shoulder. The only option you have is here on the arm, but that really doesn't work whatsoever. Now, one thing I did at first 
was I took this piece right here from uh, Siege Brunt. This is the piece that attaches to his cannon accessory, and you can actually peg this in right here on that little peg on his back, and it lines up really good against the top of his back right there, so you can add the fusion cannon just like that, so you have that G2 look. The only problem is, look how far it sticks out here on the back. So, I mean, it works from the front, but it's really hard to put him in a shelf because he's got so much back attachment, if you will. So, I went on eBay and found this. This little adapter from JRC Designs. And this is actually a really smooth, nice-looking piece that actually looks like rocket pods. It's got an M there on the back for Megatron. Some nice ridges there on the side. And how this fits, you just see that slot right there? That goes in, or that tab goes into that slot right there on Megatron's shoulder. So you're going to peg that in, and it is a nice, tight fit. Get that in nice and good. Take the cannon, attach that right there on top, and there you go. There is G2 Megatron with the shoulder cannon. It lines up really good with the back of the figure, so you don't have all that extra sticking out. And I think that looks amazing. And the collar matches really good. It's not perfect, but it works. Now, also, the Generation 2 Megatron had a pistol. So I've got this little Megatron pistol that came with the Centurion drone pack that I'm going to give my Megatron as well, or my G2 Megatron. And there you go. I think that looks great. Also, this sword spear cannon thing. I didn't show this off on my Earthrise Megatron review because I didn't figure it out. But you can take this thing right here, and he's got this little peg. If you take the fist and run that peg up and under the fist, it fits really good. So now you have Megatron with a spear, and I dig it. I love the look of this figure. I couldn't be happier with this guy. This is awesome. Now let's take a look at G2 Megatron in tank mode. In tank mode, G2 Megatron looks just as glorious as robot mode. The coloring really, really pops, and he gets some extra details too. He's got these little dots all over the front. Maybe those are missile pods or how many Autobots he's killed. The grenade launchers here on the side are colored, and he's got the great G2 Decepticon logo. Actually, that's on, only on the one side, so that looks really, really awesome. I dig it. This thing looks fantastic. Really hope Toy Hacks comes out with a decal set for this guy to add more of those gaudy 90s decals. He had one right there that said the big stick across the, the barrel of the gun, which looked great back in the day. Now, the add-on piece, what's really cool, you can fully transform Megatron, and this add-on piece can stay fully attached. It clips right there. It doesn't affect anything. Of course, he still has the feet hanging off the back, which suck. Now, let's compare G2 Megatron to Earthrise Megatron, and G2 fixed an issue I have with Earthrise where the heel will not stay put in tank mode. I hate that really really loose joint on my g g earthrise megatron where this one that one doesn't go anywhere nice tight joints on this guy and i apologize i didn't go over articulation in robot mode but i did in this video and like i said it's the exact same mold the turret can turn and the barrel eh, doesn't move at all he's got wheels and the turret turns that's it now, Earthrise, that's a great tank. A very good-looking tank mode, aside from the heel that keeps flopping down. Love all the damage here along the side. Big purple Decepticon logo. But this G2 just kills it for that 90s vibe. Now, for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Generation Select's G2 Megatron with the original G2 Megatron. Yeah, he's a big one. Generation 2 Combat Hero Megatron, and yes, 
Megatron rules. And the generation selects G2 combat hero Megatron. The Transformers Generation Selects G2 Megatron is a fantastic figure. I absolutely love the looks of this guy. It's amazing how a simple paint job can improve the looks of an existing figure. The Earthrise Megatron was all right. I'm a big Megatron fan, but that one didn't really do it for me, where this one just nails it. I love the looks of this guy, plus the add-on adapter really adds to that G2 look and I absolutely love it. But there is one thing that would have made this G2 Megatron perfect. And there you have it, guys. Transformers Generation Selects G2 Megatron. So, does a Transformers Generation Selects G2 Megatron belong in your collection? If you're a G2 fan, Absolutely, this is a great repaint of Earthrise Megatron. As I said, I prefer this Megatron to the Earthrise version that I have. I just think the paint scheme works so much better with this guy. And not to mention that little add-on piece, that's just icing on the cake. And there is a link to how you can get one in the description of this video. I couldn't be happier with this guy. Shane, hi. Thank you so much for the gift. This one was awesome. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Big news, this Friday, I'm going to be interviewing Stan Bush live at, I think it's 9 o'clock. I forgot my own time frame, but look on my channel. There is a link for that. It is my next upcoming live show. I am so excited to be interviewing an icon from my childhood. Also, if you're in any position to help the channel, I offer channel memberships and I have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!